I'm talking today to Jesse Cunnett of Patient and Public Involvement. Jesse, we're here today to talk about the Mid Staffordshire Hospital, where somewhere between 400 and 600 people died in care unnecessarily. Tell me how this happened. Well, it's a terrible tragedy, actually, and I think that it happened because the organisation itself became more interested in serving its own purpose rather than perhaps serving the very people it was set up to serve in the first place. And I think it's a circumstance of systems and processes taking a higher priority than people and care and feelings. And I think it led to a culture whereby the hospital was able to become self-interested, obsessed with targets, driven by meeting the need to become a foundation trust, driven by the need to meet requirements placed on it by a number of different types of organisation, regulators, people with oversight of the situation, of, the, of how things should go, and those kinds of things became more important than the people who were coming in and out of the hospital on a day-to-day -day basis. Why did no one spot it earlier? Because there were people who were speaking out, there were staff members who said, you know, things are going wrong here. Yeah, there were staff members and there were patients and there were relatives. There was a number of people who were speaking out about it. There were a number of people who were trying to find their voice and to be heard in the system. I think my own experience of working in the area for three years post the situation coming to light would be one of the things that I think I heard more than anything else was that people said that they shared concerns but that in the grand scheme of things those concerns were seen as one-offs or they were seen yeah, as everything was a particular case everything was there was a reason for it it was just a one-off in the main things were going really well we're doing it, it was almost as if there was a um, a, a folklore within the organisation or, 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 a, or a way of being or a, a people have used the word culture a lot mm. over the last period of time where this has been such a lot in the news and I think culture can be become a little bit meaningless as a word but actually the way things were done mm. the how the organisation behaved yeah, the way they did things mm. became um, one which was crowned in aren't we great, we're very good, we're going to meet these targets, we're going to be the best. Now there's nothing wrong with striving to be the best at things, mm. but not at the sake of hearing, of not hearing, mm. when things are not going well. And I think, for an example, and this was provided as an anecdote, mm. but it was provided as an anecdote by the then um, chief executive, who um, as, as part of my work in the area informed me that the way they counted complaints was that they um, recorded written complaints and they recorded those as a numerical figure that went to the board but for every complaint that was registered and every complaint that was documented mm. there was an assumed understanding that there would be a number of compliments on the basis that for every complaint there's loads of people that say thank you very much mm. I've had a really good time here um, but don't ever write that down or don't write a card or don't make a point mm. of it so their data recording and the way they handled information about patients' experiences was showered in this kind of cover of... Yeah, warm bath. Uh, of warm bath of, you know, we may do some things wrong occasionally, but they're exception, not the rule. And I think over a period of time, my own perception as an outsider to the situation was that that became the assumed way. And if people spoke out against that they were seen as being difficult or, mm. you know, making a problem or, you know, kind of getting in the way. The, the difficult thing is, is so many people dying. It, 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 four to six hundred people is a lot of people. Yeah, it's actually four to twelve hundred. There's, yeah. um, there's some difficulty about how things were recorded. Not difficulty, but there's some disagreement about yes. whether which figures are the correct ones. And generally speaking, yeah. people say between four and twelve hundred. Um, I guess yeah. any number is appalling. Yes, but if you take 400, it's, it's quite something not to spot a pattern and to see everything as a one-off. 